Wait, let me. I always have to push it down. Aww. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today, I have a product that has been requested a lot in the comments of my videos. This is how the product was shipped to me, but you really can't see what it is until I open it. I don't think there's even instructions in here, so lucky me. I don't read instructions. We're gonna figure this out with a whole lot of common sense. What is it, you ask? It is a silicone cake mold, and the people that requested it will know who they are because there was quite a few of you guys asking me for this thing. Today we're gonna make a cake out of this. This is it. No instructions, no nothing. But I will insert some pictures here. It looked way bigger. Oh my God. Okay, so what is it? It is a silicone mold that you can shape into different things like a heart or a circle or a square or whatever you'd like. But these are so little. Oh my God, I already think this is gonna be a fail, but you just snap pieces together like this. It, no, <laughs> this. You just snap those pieces together. Can you guys see that? Let's see. And then you fill the mold with cake batter and it should take the shape of whatever you made. Gimmicky, I don't know. Okay, maybe it is big. Okay, maybe when you put it all together. I don't know. It seems kind of small. I'm gonna make just a little cake, like that big. I have my ingredients here for my cake batter. Let me wash this because who knows where the hell this came from, right? Okay, washed. My hands are still wet. On Amazon, this thing said it was non-stick, so I don't need to spray it with anything, but I am going to spray aluminum foil just because I don't want it to stick to that, my cake, that is. So I'm gonna spray that guy. And in the, how would you do that? The picture's on Amazon. The lady made a heart. How would you make a heart out of this thing? I wanna make a heart for you guys, but I don't think it's going to, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh wait, maybe this is how you make a heart. That's one ugly heart. Oh wait, look, there's a heart. Can you guys see it? There's a heart right there, see? Okay, maybe I'll try to put it in a heart shape, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna try heart. It's gonna look crazy, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna put it on the aluminum foil in the shape of a heart. Kind of. Wait, I think this bottom piece. Oh, there's a heart. I made a heart. Look, it's totally in the shape of a heart. Okay, I'm liking it so far. Look, I don't wanna pick it up because it's, it's gonna mess it up. I think you can see it here on my other camera. Okay, heart shape done. Now, let's make the cake mix. I have a yellow cake mix here. It's gonna take me 45 minutes to whip up for you. But with the magic of editing, this is gonna take me no time. You just quick. I'm gonna speed up the tape so you guys don't have to wait for all this. I probably won't even need all this because this is gonna be a little baby cake. All right, cake mix, done. I need, what is it? Half a cup of oil, a cup of water in, and three eggs, which I have right here. One, two, and three. Cake batter, almost ready. Now, we mix it all together. I don't know how this is gonna work. I feel like the batter is gonna go underneath the little silicone molds. Wait, let me, I always have to push it down. Aw, see it's going underneath. This sucks. And how much do I fill it up to? Like right there? That's good, right? I didn't fill it all the way to the top. You guys can see, look, it's like there's cake batter coming out from there, but maybe once it cooks, it'll be okay. No, over here too, guys, look. I'm gonna turn it around here so you guys can see in the back. In between the little things right there. I mean, it's not totally oozing out, but it's definitely losing batter. Okay, so it's in the oven. I think this is gonna be a total fail. Once I moved it, because I oiled the bottom. Oh, was that my fault? Fuck. I didn't have instructions, so I'm not gonna blame it on myself. Once I moved it from the counter into the oven, the little silicone mold was moving around, and so the cake batter was coming out even more from underneath. That's a fail. I don't know how this product is ever gonna work, especially if you have a bigger cake. I made an itty bitty little cake. We'll see what we get. It's ready for me. Let's see what we get out of this oven. I bet you money it's not gonna look like a heart. I just have a feeling. Oh no. It's kind of burnt. Oh shit, I'm gonna drop it. Of course I am. There we go. Oh, see? So, is it in the shape of a heart? No, it isn't. Is it in the shape of a, I don't know what this that is in the shape. Let's see if I can pick it up with these gloves. It's kind of burnt. Don't judge me. 
I was in the room and I totally forgot about my cake. On this side, looks like nothing. A blob. It did not leak out. I'm gonna put this back on. Come on. It did not leak out as much as I thought it was gonna. Fucking shit. It did not leak out as much as I thought it was gonna leak out, so not too bad. Now let's open this guy. I think you just pop it. Remember, it should be non-stick. It is still sizzling hot. I'm gonna open it right here. We're all gonna look at it together. Ready? Here it is. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that's not non-stick. It's sticking. Maybe because I have to let it, okay, wait. Before I unroll the rest of it, let's let it cool down, right? That's what a baker would say. Let it sit and cool. I'm gonna just let it sit and cool for like a second. Definitely not non-stick. Okay, maybe it's because it's hot, but still. It's not non-stick. I really needed to spray that with something. Then I'm gonna have to put my gloves back on because this is not in the shape of nothing. What the hell is this? The shape is horrible. If you're buying this to get a cool shape out of it, that's a fail. The non-stick is a fail. This is what it looks like out of the mold. Bottom of it looks kind of like a heart, if you can kind of see that there. <laughs> the top looks like nothing. It just looks like a giant muffin is really what it looks like. So I'm gonna say this product was a total fail. Well, not total fail. I mean, it kept it kind of together. It did not ooze out from the bottom like I thought it was going to. I still would not pay anything for this thing. I think it's a disappointment. I think it's a gimmick. Yeah, no, mm -mm. nope. So I'm gonna give these guys one Vivian head. It's a fail, don't buy this cheesy product. Another fail, another crazy product that people are buying that not going to, no. All right, you guys, that is it for another Vivian tries. If you know of a cool kitchen or food product that you think I should try, leave that in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Once again, I wanna thank my patrons on my Patreon page. You can find out about that down below in the description i have a link for you if you want to check that out i really would appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one bye